I'm a family doctor and I'm going to show you how I clean out earwax in the office. That's right. Lots of people come to me needing their ears cleaned out. This is how I do it. So first thing I do is I get what's called a chuck. Um, we put this on. It's kind of like a water, I shouldn't say waterproof, but any liquid that goes on here doesn't kind of seep through the other side. So the first thing I do is I drape the patient uh, to make sure they don't get wet. And you're probably like, why would they get wet? Well, I'm about to tell you what's going on. And by the way, the way family doctors um, clean out earwax is going to be different than ENTs. We don't have all the fancy equipment usually that the ENTs do. They're, of course, the specialists, but this is how we do it. So let's pretend I'm the patient. I've got my chucks here, okay? And there's this is the way I train to do it in the way that I do it. I have the patient hold this little container under their ear. See, it's got like a little ear hole like that. We have them hold it underneath their ear, okay? And... They hold it in their ear while I take this guy. It's hard to demonstrate with like just one person, but this is like my little water shooter. We're using water that's like, you know, room temperature, not too cold, not too hot. I usually put it in a bowl like this. So I'm over here, the doctor, I got my water and I'm basically using it to suck up the water, okay? And once I get it, also the patient, I have my patient sit here they put this underneath there, and I squirt basically the water in their ear. As I'm squirting the water in their ear, the water and the wax falls out into this blue container. I know, it can be kind of gross, guys, because honestly, lots of chunks kind of come out here. And sometimes I have to do, because I'm the one, remember, I'm the one on this side squirting the water in. I got to refill, slurp more water in there, and they're holding the cup, and I'm squirting it more in there, and then the earwax falls out. I know. Um, and literally, I have to dump this many times because it's usually got earwax in there, um, if we're successful, of course, which is what we want. Now, there's a couple other ways to do it, too. Um, this little guy is actually a, sort of a, a newer device that we have in the office. I trained on these old, older gadgets, but they work well. Um, this is actually like a little sprayer, okay? You put the water, and the big thing is water put the water in here room temperature and you put like a little nozzle here you see that and then you squirt the water in the ear you still want to have um, this here that the patient is holding it's good because patients can get involved and so the earwax and the water comes out of the ear drains out and so you see why I have the chuck right because if they get wet or anything you don't want people getting all like wet and gunky so I keep the diaper on them at least that's what they call it then um, you got to do that usually a few times. I'll be honest with you. You know, I don't usually get earwax out the first time unless it's nice and soft, which is why making sure that your earwax is soft with Debrox, um, over the counter solution, things like that can be very, very helpful. Then this is something that we use as family doctors, by the way, you guys should not be using anything smaller than your elbow in your ear. These are called curettes. You see they're different sizes, right? There's like this little guy and then there's like this one. These are basically little tools that as the earwax comes to the outer part of the canal, sometimes we can just take this curette and on the outside of the canal, scoop up the wax and then remove it that way. Now remember, the reason why you should not be doing this is because you can't see into your ear and it could be easy to puncture your tympanic membrane or your eardrum. So you should never be putting anything in your ear. I've got plenty of videos on things you shouldn't put in your ear, including Q-tips. Keep the ear cleaning to your family doc, your internist, your ear, nose, and throat doctor, we're the only ones that should be sticking things like this in your ear because remember, we have a light source. When we use our light to look in, we can see what we're doing and making sure that we're being gentle and we're not getting close to sort of the danger area. So guys, along with my diaper, this is a few ways. Remember the patient holds it this way. Hopefully this is helpful. If you ever get your ears cleaned up by your family doctor, you'll know that you're going to have to hold this. That's your job while your doctor squirts the, the water in the ear and it's going to come out with the wax. Um, and we'll do that a number of times. Your doctor may also have this little gadget as well. Um, check out my other videos on earwax um, and how we remove it, how it's safe to remove, how you should remove it. Um, guys, remember to consult your doctor for everything. Super important. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. If you've not liked and followed my page, um, please make sure that you do. I do daily videos. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Um, and consider joining my group for special perks called uh, Dr. Jen Superstars.